Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Manchester City could make last minute Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang move as Harry Kane alternative and then we're going to look at pressure rising on Arsenal Chief Edu as Mark Overmars lined up as replacement. So the first transfer deadline states that Manchester City could make last minute Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang move as Harry Kane alternative. So the reports are stating that Arsenal striker Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has emerged as a potential option for Manchester City. Manchester City could make a shock late move to sign Arsenal striker Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang this summer, according to reports. Manchester City are in the market for a frontman with Tottenham's Harry Kane their top targets. However, little progress has been made in their pursuits of the England captain. Top to maintain Harry Kane is not for sale, especially to a fellow Premier League club. The 28-year-old still has three years remaining on his Spurs contract and made his first appearance of the season in Sunday's 1-0 win at Wolves. Aubameyang also featured for Arsenal as a second-half substitute in the 2-0 home defeat to Chelsea. The Gunners' captain missed the first match of the campaign after testing positive for COVID-19. Aubameyang had his worst season in front of goal in 10 years last term, netting just 15 times in all competitions. The Gabon international is happy at the Emirates and wants to fulfil his ambition of becoming a club legend. But rumours have circulated that Arsenal will be willing to sell at the right price. And ESPN claims Aubameyang could be a last minute option for Manchester City if they fail to land Kane, which looks very likely after Harry Kane has confirmed that he will remain at Spurs in his Twitter and other social media profiles. Pierre Enrique Aubameyang has scored 85 goals in 149 appearances for Arsenal since arriving from Borussia Dortmund in January 2018. Manchester City are looking for a replacement for Sergio Aguero, who left at the end of last season. Aubameyang turned 32 in June, so it's not the long-term answer for, Pierre, for Pep Guardiola, but it could be a stopgap signing if they cannot sign a striker of the calibre of Harry Kane this month. Manchester City boss Guardiola was asked about his plans to sign a striker at the weekend, but the Spaniard insisted his plan had not changed from the beginning of the window. When we decided not to extend the contract of Sergio Aguero and people asked what we would do, I said many times it would depend on the market, Guardiola said. Maybe we will buy, maybe not. It is the same, still, still the same situation. There are still 10 days left in the market. We are going to see what happens and it depends on that when we are going to make the decision. If the squad stays the same one, then I am more than pleased with the team. But of course, the club has an obligation and a duty to look forward to get better and to feel we can still be in there with a tough Premier League. So it looks like Manchester City could make last minute Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang move as Harry Kane alternative. And Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is a player that Mikel Arteta did say that would be a huge signing, a huge importance for the club after being the captain of the club and signing that long term contract extension for a big money fee. But Aubameyang looks very likely to make that move to Manchester City if Manchester City can persuade him and give him the courage that he will win a lot of trophies at Manchester. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that pressure rising on Arsenal Chief Edu as Mark Overmars lined up as replacement. So the reports are stating that since Edu's arrival, Arsenal have spent more than £300 million on players but recouped only around £80 million. When Edu was brought in as Arsenal's very first technical director two years ago, he was heralded as a man who understood the club and what they needed. An ex-Gunners midfielder himself, his experience of the international football scene after his work with Corinthians, the Iranian national team and as general coordinator of the Brazil national side, seemed to suggest exactly the level of global knowledge and contacts needed to turn Arsenal around in a turbulent period. Two years on, as the man responsible for the recruitment, questions are being asked of the 41-year-old. It coincides with the pressure on manager Mikel Arteta, with the club out of Europe for the first time in 25 years and a poor start to the current campaign. Since Edu's arrival, Arsenal have spent more than £300 million on players, but crucially, recouped only around £80 million. The expected loss of the former Chelsea player William back to his native Brazil with Corinthians on a free this week has highlighted the issue. The 33-year-old only signed last summer on a eye-watering £220,000 a week, three-year deal. 
former record signing striker Alexandre Lacazette, he cost £46.5 million when he joined in July 2017, is in the last year of his contract. He too will leave on a free next summer if, as expected, a new deal is not signed. Highly paid winger Hendrik Mkhitaryan left on a free last year after arriving in a swap deal as Alexis Sanchez went to Manchester United. The list of those who have exited the Emirates with no money coming in for them is a long one. Socrates to Olympiacos after costing £17.7 million, Skodra Mustafi to Schalke after costing £35 million in 2016, Meza Ozil left Arsenal for Fenerbahce last summer after costing Arsenal £42.5 million in 2013. The North Londoners will still believe to be paying parts of the German international salary to his exit in July of this year. It is not just the outgoings under increasing scrutiny, either. Defender William Saliba cost £27 million in 2018, but never played, and also then paid £50 million this summer for Ben White from Brighton to play in the same position. Keeper Emiliano Martinez was deemed surplus to requirements last summer and sold to Aston Villa for £17 million. The Argentine was one of the stars of the season of the Midlands club, going on to win the Copa America with Argentina and the Golden Glove Award. Also then brought in the Icelandic youngster Ron Alex Runnison as a replacement number 2 keeper, only to spend £24 million last week on signing Aaron Ramsdale. Joe Willock, who joined Newcastle United last week in a £25 million deal, is one of the few players from the Gunners' famed academy for whom the club has recouped cash. Alex will be leaving for Everton for £34 million two years ago. The club are desperately trying to sell their fringe players. It is a little wonder that the likes of Mark Overmars, Ralph Ragnick and Michael Emilino, all of whom are known to be canny operators, are being touted as potential replacements. It was Chelsea with a 2-0 win at the Emirates last week and he rammed the home with the gulf between not just the two teams but also the clubs right now, despite Miklosetta receiving cash to spend on the transfer window. So it looks like Mark Overmars is someone that could replace Edu. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post to use the special link I have put below in the description and smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.